So welcome back. Here we're going to build another thing that you see in a lot of 2D side-scrolling games, and that is moving platforms. Platforms that move up to down and left to right. So let's build something right here. First thing we want to do is let's go inside of our prop gallery and let's type in platform. I like to use wooden platform A for my platforms. Of course, you can use whatever object you want, up to you. So make sure Snap to Grid is on. Make sure this lines up with our character. Looks like that does. And you know, this is not really too big of a jump. We have our moving platform is not really going to be moving up too far. So why don't we change that? Let's make this so that this is a, a bit of a steeper jump. That will require us to bring out our expand tool here and increase the size of this. You know what, I'm actually going to change that to the Add Subtract tool. And let's make sure we're using the, the right type of terrain. Yep, that looks like that's the right type of terrain. There we go. Now I also want to make sure that I put that path back in. That path is crucial to me. Just n never forget to, whenever you're adding new terrain, never forget to put the path back in. So we got our path right here. Let's uh, make sure this is kind of lined up with the character. Perfect. All right. All right. Our path is back. Perfect. So now we have a bit of a steeper um, increase in uh, the terrain size for our character to go up. Looks like the character is going to kind of have to use this platform to get up to the top. And that's, that's what we want. So here's where we introduce a new type of prop that has its own kind of prop properties. Let's go into the prop gallery and let's type in path. We have a path tool as a prop and this is really useful because this path tool kind of creates a path line that you can make any object move from one point to another point or you can create multiple points and make something like a circle so on and so forth so what you do is you have the uh, prop right here think of this prop the actual prop part of it as a logic cube this really usually shouldn't have any code inside of it um, this also is not visible in playtime this is just here for you to edit some properties so if you go to edit on this prop and go to properties you're gonna see a new path property and this is where you can edit uh, a bunch of properties of a path in Project Spark. The thing you are going to be playing around with a lot are the actual, uh, these gizmos here. These are the points along the path. So say for instance you want to have a character kind of walking in a nice path. So you get to create um, a bunch of different path gizmo points to have your character walking, you know, say in a, um, in a rectangle. So they, they get to walk around in a rectangle format. And we can go ahead and delete these extra ones that we created because we really only need um, two for our purposes. We're going to have this platform going up to down, so we really only need this second point to be right above this first point going up. Let's bring this path in. The nice thing also about this path is the actual prop, this little uh, square right here, doesn't matter really where that is because points any of the points along the path you can move wherever you want. So we're going to move these points so that they line up with this guy lines up with the top. Looks like, yep, that's about in line with the top and this guy's about in line with the bottom. He's a bit above and that's actually good. We want this to be a bit above. So let's bring this to the center of this wooden platform because this wooden platform is basically going to move on this exact path. How do we do that? Well, let's go inside the wooden platform and we just need to add some simple code here. We're going to say move. Then you go to modifiers and you're going to see on the second page this on path modifier. So move on path and then we can choose objects in world picker and go ahead and select this path that we're going to be using. So move on path path. Well, that might get confusing if we have a lot of paths. So let's rename this to platform one. So this, this path is going to be renamed Platform 1 because we're probably going to have some other platforms throughout here. 
So now that's now called platform one. We go to our wooden crate and it says move on path platform one. Great. So let's just test this as it is right now. So our platform isn't moving, it's kind of twitching back and forth. So this is where you might kind of get confused. You know, we, it looks like we set up the path property properly, but we're not having this platform actually moving up. So why is that? Well, it's actually quite simple. And you know, I'm also gonna move this around so that this is not kind of blocking, these aren't blocking the pathway. There's a simple modifier we need to put on this path. Modifier with flying. Everything still follows physics and gravity inside of you know whatever you're creating in Project Spark. So this platform, you know, when you tell it, okay, move up to down, well, it's going to look at, all right, so how can I move? Well, I can't move with flying, so I can I can just move on the ground. Well, that's no good because this wants me to go fly up. Well, I can't fly because I don't have this flying modifier. That's where you put this move on platform one with flying. Now we go in, we should see that we have, well, a path that moves really fast. It seems like something we wouldn't want to jump on top of. You know, this is, this is a big thrill ride path. So we have, you know, this thing that just throws us up there. Maybe you want a path like that. You know, maybe that, that's fun to have. But let's play around with the actual speed of this path. And we also want to make it so that it kind of pauses when it's at the top. So go back into test. There are two different things we want to change to reduce the speed because we want, to, we want to reduce the speed quite a bit. So first we go to our path, we go to properties, path, and the speed is right now 0 0.05. Let's change that all the way down to 0 0.01. We also have these two options to pause at end and pause at points. Better thing to do for now is pause at points. What this does is basically each of the points on this path it's going to pause that for one second. So we have uh, this point up here where it'll pause that for one second and this point down here where it'll pause that for one second. So when it's at the very top and at the very bottom, it is going to pause for one second. The movement type, let's change that from instead of linear, let's make it smooth where it basically kind of slows down when it gets to the bottom and slows down when it gets to the top. And let's even reduce the speed more by going into our platform here adding another modifier saying at speed and values number and let's choose 0 0.15 because a fly speed is usually pretty fast now you can also change the flight speed of this platform by going into uh, edit its properties and its movement properties and then you can change fly right there we're not going to do that but you can uh, do that here if you want so let's go into test and now we have Oh, that is so much better, isn't that? That is exactly what we want. Now, it's uh, stopping not exactly on the ground, though, so it looks like we need to fix that. But its movement is much closer to what we were hoping to get here. In order to fix that, well, it looks like our point zero is above the ground here. Now here is, uh, I'm going to show you a kind of a limitation of paths, something that you should be aware of with paths. Let's bring this uh, point just down here to the ground and let's, let's go into test. And now suddenly this platform isn't moving at all. So you might be wondering why it's not moving and the reason is because this point is embedded in the ground and the ground is a collidable obstacle. At the very beginning of an object moving on a path, it needs to get to point zero in order to start the path. So this is point zero, and this is point one, and you can, we can have point two, three, four, so on and so forth. But point zero is embedded in the ground. That means this platform cannot move through the ground to get to that point. Maybe if we made this platform non-collidable, it could get to the point, but it is collidable. So that means it's gonna collide with the terrain and kind of bump up against it and it won't be able to reach this point anymore because it's in the, the ground. So hopefully that made sense. What we need to do here is make sure this point is just above the ground right here 
So now this platform can go ahead and get to it. Let's go back into to test. And now you'll see platform goes down much better. It's not exactly at the at the bottom of the ground, but it is quite close. And that's that will be enough for us to get all the way up here to the very top. And we can go back down. And let's let's get our collectibles. So we have that one taken care of. Let's also create a platform that goes uh, left to right. Or actually here, we're going to make it right to left. We can go ahead and copy these two. So let's copy this guy. Let's bring him up. Turn on Snap to Grid. And we're going to have this one kind of line up with the other one. So bring it right here. So that you can, you know, you, you ride this one to the very top and you can jump over to this one. And let's copy this platform. Bring this up. And let's name this platform Platform 2. Now let's change these points here. So this, let's put this about right here. And point one, we are going to put about right here. Now I'm looking and it looks like this isn't exactly lined up anymore with this point. So this is the beauty of Snap to Grid. We can move this. All right, so now perfectly aligned. Let's move this over now. About right there. And let's line this up so it moves straight. All right, that is straight. Although this looks like it's a tiny bit higher than the other point. So let's bring it down to point two. Now this platform, let's bring this platform down as well. And now we just simply need to say um, move on path. Right now it's still platform one. So instead, let's change this to platform two. And let's go into test. Jump up on top of here. Now we can jump over here. And now we have platforms that move left to right and move up and down. There are different ways to make these moving platforms without having to use the path tool. You can use something similar to, remember with, with these coins, we specifically actually raise their position Y up and down, incremented that. You could increment and decrement that. Um, you could have something move towards a object you place in this world and move away from that object. There's a lot of different ways, but uh, this way is the kind of I think simplest to understand and it also introduces you to the path tool which can be pretty powerful when you're building stuff. So that will do it here and uh, stay tuned for our next tutorial.